use your hand if you are a scientist. For the past couple of weeks, we've been learning about organisms or living things, and um, they set up aquariums and terrariums and had to figure out um, the different habitats that organisms live in. We put rocks and guppies and cabalas and and LEDs and snails in there. Inside our terrarium, we have dirt, moss, tree seedling. Uh, millipedes and pill bugs. We learned that organisms are plants and animals. They're not just animals that are living, it's plants too. Some of the plants that we planted is sunflower seed, pumpkin seed, a pea seed, and cauliflower seed. The difference is that when we first planted the seed, they didn't look like it, but, but from then and today, they're really big and the seeds and the seeds have grown the least, but they haven't grown the plant yet. We are going to look at our millipedes up close and personal. So those friends that are, uh, they put their gloves on, please go ahead and find your millipedes. Some of you may have two, just grab one. Grab it and put it in your hand. We've been doing these for two weeks. And throughout the two weeks, what have you noticed in your terrarium? That the uh, millipede was like growing. We just talked about um, the different things and observed them with our four senses and they really enjoyed exploring all of those things. We had a magnifying glass and we put it up to the um, aquarium and then we see, we saw um, things on the um, um, fishes. My favorite part is the guppies. My favorite part was putting in the animals. My favorite part is the roots. And what about the roots, can you tell me? The so roots, like they're really big. It looks like they're going to the bottom and connecting. They all know that just because they're students doesn't mean that they can't be scientists too. And that's something that I really try to um, introduce to them and to tell them. Oh, where'd it go? It's underground. Ah, there's a pill 